Okay, now that we have the engine done on this TSI and ready basically to go in, uh, the clutch and flywheel are on it, new main seal that we did as well. Um, we're gonna get the transmission back together. So in this one, we're gonna show you basically what we're doing to this thing. We beefed up the gear set, upgraded the differential, also to convert the front wheel drive transmission to an all wheel drive transmission that was required. Um, and we also have some other pieces to help strengthen the case. So let's get into the transmission and show you everything we got for it. It's time to move on to making this transmission all-wheel drive. So we got the all-wheel drive diff, which um, is a Pelican diff that we're doing. And as we would have mentioned in, you know, this series, early on in the series, and what you would have seen with my car specifically, um, the angle drive will bolt directly to these casings with these four bolt holes down here, or actually the other one's right there. And, but what's required in order to bolt the angle drive to that is the differential inside needs to be replaced to an all wheel drive differential because of this spline uh, section right here. So we gotta get the case apart to do the new diff. Also, we're gonna do shifter forks and as you can see, gears. Uh, we're putting a gear set in this. Um, we're doing like a fourth or sixth gear set. So this car is still a street car, so we gotta kinda keep that in mind. We don't wanna make it too difficult and too noisy for him to drive. But to do this hand isn't super awesome. But as you can see, we got some beefy gears to work with here. Um, so we gotta get the transmission apart and basically start separating the gears that we need. We need to pull off the gears to swap into the new gear set. So time to get this thing apart and finally make this transmission all wheel drive so we can put it on the engine and start building the manifold to finally get this thing back in the car. We didn't film all the, the nonsense trying to press off all the gears and put the new gears on where the press is, it's dark, it would, the footage would have been garbage anyways, and it took all the hands involved to make it happen, right Clayton? Right. So, as you can see, we got all the old gears off. Right here, the new stuff is all on. Make some more noise. Well, it's just part of the deal. <laughs> and then we got some new parts that showed up today. Um, one is to strengthen the input shaft so this bar fits in there we're gonna weld that up that's gonna prevent this from flexing this make, is make the noise with it oh this noise hold on this is how it oops <laughs> oh yeah that's a good noise it's a nice sound effect and we got the so that's going to strengthen that this is going to go on the outside of the case it's fancy bits here and actually rides along this Again, this is going to be mounted on the outside of the case, and it's going to ride along this to, again, prevent this from flexing. And then we got the last modifications to the case, which is the bars, which are where? Oh, over here, Clayton. Oops, sorry. Smash the camera. Yeah, in the case already, because we already drilled the holes. So we had to drill through the case. We found center, drilled the holes. And this is going to go on, when the other side of the case is together, this is going to go on the outside of the case, you and again. Show, you can show them with us. All right, I guess. So. We got a lot of spare trainers around. There is a lot of transmissions around, yes. So flip this it. went. Yeah, flip, 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 flip. What? what? Flip, flip. Like this. It's gonna go like that, and that's gonna prevent the case from splitting apart. Do so again. we're doing everything. Do that again. This up and down, or in and out. So we're gonna do everything we can to try to keep this together for what this thing is being used for. Obviously, we still gotta 
uh, drill out the ring gear, get the new all-wheel drive differential in it, and then once we get the case finally drilled out, we'll start checking clearances and everything and put the transmission together finally. It actually went pretty smoothly, right, Clayton, the gears? Yeah, not too bad. One little butt pucker moment. Which one was that? Remember? Oh, this yeah, yeah, that's because that's, that's just press fit, no this spline, one, nothing. Yeah, this whole thing, the whole piece. Here. This one here, and so, uh, it, it's toyed. It's very, very toyed. So we're going to continue on modifying the case and start getting everything buttoned up. We got the ring gear off the old diff onto the new diff. Um, and also you can kind of see now what the difference is between a front wheel drive differential and an all wheel drive differential. If you're doing this all wheel drive swap similar to what we've done, um, we're using an existing front wheel drive transmission, but this is the key piece that's needed to make it all wheel drive and connect and actually spin the angle drive. So the case itself is requir requires the four bolt holes as discussed previously, but this is the main piece that makes it all function and work properly together. So we do have that ready to go. We have a new shifter forks and stuff going in as mentioned, and we do have the case modified, which I'll show you in a second. We, do, we did change some bearings out on some of this, so we do have to check the preload on a few pieces. But for the most part, it's ready to go back together. Oh, and this, I do have the billet insert welded into this thing now. So that's going to be as strong as it can be for uh, an OEM input shaft. So let's get to the case. So we got the case. Just there, Obviously, there's no gears in it. It's just dry, kind of mocked up. And we got it modified to handle this brace that's going to go all the way down through these two shafts here. And now we have to modify the outer case to put this brace on. So it's gonna go somewhere like this on the transmission, roughly around there. And what happens is uh, this piece of it is gonna ride along this part um, to basically take any of the slack out. Again, for the little bit extra money to do the few things that are known to help a little bit at least on these cases, it's only a few hundred dollars and since everything was apart to do the gear set and the all wheel drive diff and stuff, it only made sense to kind of spend a little bit of time to do all this stuff to try to help it out as much as it can. So, time to get this all apart. I'll put this, I'll just put a couple of these gear sets in um, just to get an idea where this piece needs to go on the outside of the case, but I kind of know already it's got to go like right here. Um, but just to give me a little peace of mind, we'll check all that out and then I'll start drilling and modifying the case to fit it. Okay, so we got this fitted. The only thing that's you got to watch out for is just the sensor. Um, it's really close, but I, the car's right behind me. I literally just put the transmission on the ground and plugged the connector into it so it's going to be no problem sitting like this so the whole point of this is that this piece pushes on that brass uh, pin I guess you want to call it and it's going to push up against the shaft and this piece here is actually going to go on the inside of the transmission and bolt into uh, this outer piece here it kind of sandwiches it together obviously you get to put a bunch of sealant and stuff on there but yeah, that's the whole point of it. So we just got to drill the four holes to screw this piece into that on the inside. Um, they're just going right through and the screws are countersunk in. And then this piece will be done. And we can start f doing final cleanup and final assembly and then check the backlash and stuff like that on it just to make sure everything's good with the diff. Okay, now onto the case. On the bell housing side, we had to drill out two holes that this support bracket or support piece, I don't even know what you want to call it, it's going to support the outside of the case, is going to come up through and go through the two stacks and then sandwich the two halves of the case together. Also, we put this uh, third and fourth gear support piece. We had to drill through the case. As you can see, this piece, as I probably showed earlier, goes in through here. Yes, the sensor still fits, I already tested it. 
um, and it's going to ride along this and this now that I just noticed try to do this with one hand get this input shaft in here it needs to be clearanced ever so slightly because if it moves it's hitting the look the uh, a little tiny screw down there so I do have to clearance that first before we go any further but now aside from checking the preload it's basically ready to go back together so we'll probably set up a time lapse and then you guys can see this thing being reassembled all right next in this thing so I removed I usually use to get these out quickly I just run the TIG over the race it basically shrinks it and then you can pop it out really easily so we've put the new races in, removed the shim, put the new races in, measured essentially the lash or the movement that the differential has in it now. And now we have the proper measurement uh, for the proper size shim that needs to go in there to have the correct preload on the differential. So a lot of messing around. Either way, we got it. We're ready to put the new shim in and uh, we gotta remove the race obviously and put the new shim back underneath it and finally get this thing back together. I probably said finally put this back together like 10 times, but then I always remember the next thing that we gotta do. Okay, so we got the new race out and I have my stack of shims and I've already measured out the shim I need. So this is going to go, I'm trying to look through the camera and do this at the same time. This is going to go in here and then the new race is going to go back in and then that way there's the proper preload on the differential uh, once it's all back together so it's a bit of a pain to go through all the steps but it is what's required to make it the proper way make it correct so it's time to get that shim in get this press back in and then start start assembling the uh, gear set and stuff it's together so one last uh, check on everything before I put the cover on it and actually seal it all up. But the new shifter forks are in. Um, everything shifts between gears properly. It's kind of hard to do with one hand here, but you get the gist. Um, so now it's ready to seal up. And uh, I already test fitted the case to make sure that nothing was hitting. Uh, we do have to put one more shim on the top here and then uh, we've got to seal the case up and then that is it for this thing oh aside from I gotta set this in and line it all up once it's together but finally wrapping it up last couple of things got the seal in and now I'm going to put this brace which is kind of the weird part all the way through the transmission it's gonna go through the holes that we've already drilled and come all the way out on this side and then basically two nuts well four nuts because there's locking nuts on it um, are going to lock it in place with the other plate which is right here um, so it's going to go on like that so time to get that on there clayton you weren't here for most of this, but you did help me get the shifter tower in, so. Sure did. You did, uh, you did something. I did pretty much the most aggravating part. Yeah, for me it was. Um, so we got this transmission all together. We, I don't know if I mentioned this in the video, cause I've, it's been a on and off project, this transmission, but we don't typically get into this much detail on most of the builds that we're doing, but for guys following along, this all wheel drive, conversion TSI it's not, not that's that. not the engine not <laughs> this all-wheel drive conversion TSI we've been pretty thorough in all the things that we've done as we've shared to YouTube does that make sense I kind of stumbled yeah, over yeah. my words yeah. yeah we took our time with it and we took yeah we, we, we're we sharing more lots. than normal yes yeah. we're sharing more than normal so you would have seen the engine the last time this time was the transmission so we got it all done we got the bracing everything's complete it's basically ready to go on the engine now and I can finally start building the manifold for it. So if you guys have any questions or comments, I've 
talked throughout this video, Clayton, so hopefully I didn't miss too much. Um, it's going to be fun to edit. No, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments about this thing, be sure to ask below. And um, the next one is manifold for this. Cool. Right? There'll be a couple manifolds we'll build them. Yeah, but I mean, for this car, and if anyone's interested in what's going on with this car, I'll link the whole build above. Um, but we're shooting for a bunch more power. Obviously, the transmission was built to try to handle some more power. So, if anybody's interested in the stuff, you can get the stuff too, like gear Yeah, set for stuff. sure. Everything. Yeah. Everything here, no problem. Just hit us up. So, see you in the next video.